What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Locked Up 365. Today, we're going to be talking about jail showers. I'm not going to be going over prison showers. There are other channels that have went over what happens in the prison shower, so I'm just going to stick with the jail shower because this is strictly a county jail channel. I have done five years in county jail. I've never been to prison. In Kentucky, they send you to camps instead of prison if you have nonviolent crimes. Real quick, if you like jail related content, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you can be notified as soon as a video touches down. All right, so the first thing when you're a new inmate, that was one thing I was really confused about is the showers because. A lot of the jails, you could only shower at certain times, and I was confused about that. Like, because especially I had been withdrawing and everything else, so I was real nasty, sweating all that stuff out. And the shower definitely helps when you're going through withdrawal in jail. Like, there was days that I would just go in the shower and stand there and just keep hitting the button for water. So the showers are typically, depending on your jail, most of them is set up, I've seen them like a single shower, I've seen it with four shower heads, I've seen it with nine shower heads. But even with the nine shower heads, usually everybody had enough respect for everybody else that they would go in one at a time. Unless it was like 5, 6 o'clock in the evening and everybody just came back from work. It was like I said, here in Kentucky, we would get to go to camps. Or even if you stayed at the jail, you would get to go to work. And a lot of the jobs are outside, working at the county garage, the fairgrounds, you know, stuff like that. You would work for the county. So everybody would come back from work and... They would only let you shower from like 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. And you would only be allowed to shower from 5 p.m. until like 8 p.m. And they would shut the showers down. So that's really not a lot of time for 70 people to shower. But you had a lot of people that were sitting around not doing everything and not everybody showered every day. They would Some people would shower every other day because they were just sitting around in Iraq not doing much. So a lot of people didn't shower every day. But the workers, you would have to shower every day because you would come in like, you know, you'd be pouring sweat all day. So at 5 o'clock when the workers would come back, they would all go straight to the shower. But like I said, usually people have enough respect, you know, not to be looking at you and everything else but as far as like you know especially being a male and you need to do your business in the shower because that's where most people do it you know you can't do it at your rack so the shower is definitely disgusting you got to watch where you step because there are possibility of babies being all over the place in the male shower the shower did get cleaned every night so I would actually shower in the mornings because they would clean it after it got shut down at 8. They would clean it and I would be the first one in it at 5 a.m. Soon as they would call breakfast, soon as I got done, I would go hit the shower. Now a lot of these showers, they are open to the dorm. Like you could basically walk by and see people in the shower, but like I say, you catch somebody staring at you or you know you gotta you gotta confront that like hey you know quit staring at me in the shower the way 10 man cells are set up most of them the shower was by the toilet so you would have to walk up to the toilet and then turn to get in the shower and usually we would put a sheet up when we showered you know just to get that extra privacy and any shower you go into in jail you gotta watch for the babies and it was your job to clean the dorm, like your little 10-man pod, every night. They would bring in a cleaning cart. So it was very important to clean the shower. I mean, yeah, it sucked to have to clean. Everybody would usually take turns or something like that cleaning the shower. But you would have to get that stuff every, I don't know, it was just 
everybody's responsibility to clean up after themselves. If not, you cannot be a troll in jail. Because people will get after you. They will split your skull open over being a troll. Because people in jail, like real super clean freaks. Because there's a lot of germs and diseases and everything else that go around. Staffs real bad in jails. So you got to make sure that you're extra clean. But the shower, usually, like I said, 10-man pod is usually just one shower you could hang a sheet up I did see a couple of the cells that the shower was actually facing the racks but you just hang your sheet up and you're good but if a guard walks by they're gonna tell you take that sheet down regardless if somebody's in there or not if you're in a bigger dorm one way to tell if you can get in the shower or not is if there's a wall I've seen it where the washer and dryer was right there because they're I have been in where you could do la your own laundry twice a week and you would actually like just roll your towel and your stuff up and put it in a line. So whenever your towel was next, you were next in the shower. But if somebody just came in and cut you, that's no good. Do not cut people because they are very serious about their hygiene in jail. And there's a lot of people that don't like to shower in jail. Like, I've seen people go months without a shower, and they were sleeping by the bathroom because they stunk. And people on your street will not deal with that. They will actually force you to get in the shower, or eventually the COs will take you out because you're getting punked out so bad. Like, it's just... Take care of your yourself while you're in jail. You don't want to end up with staff or, you know, walk around stinking. Just take a shower. I tried to stay neutral, but I never did see anything, like, bad happen. I never seen, like, people get raped or anything like that while I was in county jail. I mean, I ain't saying it didn't happen while I was in there, but... I never personally seen or heard anything. Like I said, usually with the shower, people were pretty respectful about, you know, if somebody wanted to shower alone, they'd let you shower alone. But if it was crunch time and the showers were going to get shut down and they had 30 people, then every shower head would be filled up. Like, that's just how it is. But if there's not a big line, then you can shower by yourself. I remember there was this guy named Gabe. He worked outside, and when he came back in, he would always go straight to the shower. He was like di he had like a diabetic tray, so his tray would always come with his pitcher on it, you know, and it was taped to the tray. So he would come in and get his tray every day, and a few guys, I guess, got a hold of his little pitcher thing because he would sell them their trays. So they started taking his pitchers off of his trays and <laughs> they would go and tape it up right before he got there tape it up in the shower because everybody always used one shower head like it was kind of like tucked away in the corner so more people couldn't see you and they would always tape his picture up there they taped it up there for months and the guy never said anything he just kept taking it down and they actually took and put it up there and like squirted lotion on the wall like right below it and he came out one day like going off like i don't know who's doing this y'all need to stop like it was a pretty good joke then he ended up finding out who it was you know like people in jail if you've been in there you know you're gonna actually laugh and have a pretty good time in jail like Everybody in there is in a shitty situation. You might end up in a lot of bad situations, but you can make yourself have a really good time. Even at the end of it, you're like, man, that sucked. But if once you think back on it, you will actually laugh and have a better time in jail than you will outside. And the reason why that is is because when you're in there you're not you're not worried about bills, you're not worried about your car payment, your house payment. 
you're stuck. You're stuck in a bad situation and everybody else is in the same situation as you are. So you all come together and you clown. Like I had a really good time in jail. I laughed my butt off the whole time I was in there. Especially like when the last bit I did, my cousin came in for like, he was in there for like six months till they got locked down, but we had a good time. Like he made my time go by fast and that can really help your time out. But the showers, you just need to find out. If you're new to the jail, you need to find out if you can shower at any time you want or if there's certain times. And just watch and see what's going on, what other people do or ask people, like, is there a line? People will help you out. They'll point you in the right direction. More than likely, sometimes you might, if the first person don't give you the right information, go to somebody else. Eventually, you'll get the right information. That's all I got on this topic. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, I'm going to leave the links in the description below. Thanks for watching Locked Up 365.